Our team would like to acknowledge a huge debt of thanks to the following people for helping us create this series of training modules. Barry Rook, Executive Director of the NCRA, and Eloisa Valise, Marketing and Outreach Coordinator at the NCRA. Dr. Christine Gibb, Assistant Professor at the School of International Development and Global Studies at the University of Ottawa, and student Madison Lavery for their invaluable help with the surveys and for ongoing input and feedback on working with seniors. Charlotte Sista C. Farrell, CJSF producer and host of the podcast, Speak Up, Listen Up, Act Upon, for helping us identify and break down ageist attitudes in this project. Glenn Ingram, station manager, and Pam Hawson, news producer at CICK 93.9 FM in Smithers, BC, for their invaluable feedback on setting up podcasts. And finally, I want to acknowledge local musician Elijah Larson for always coming through with stellar jingles. All the music you hear associated with this project was written and created by Elijah, especially for us. Hello, I'm Christine Bruce, coordinator for the New Horizons Seniors Project. The mandate we've been given as a committee by the NCRA is to create training modules for seniors in the 50 plus age category. But as we've put these modules together, we've realized that anyone at any age might benefit from the content we've collected. Something that keeps coming up is ageism. I can't speak for Arby and Susan, but all my podcasting life, I've been underestimated. If you're a senior and you have an idea for a podcast, whatever the content, wherever you are, whatever your age, believe in yourself. I started out watching someone read weekly stories at a radio station and thought, I could do that. Someone suggested I share bicycle stories on a show, so I called it Totally Spoked and went out to collect those stories. It was fun and it was good experience. I've later recorded guest lecturers at university auditoriums for that same university radio station. I've taken clips at the Pipeline's resistance camp, Unistoten, interviewed respected experts on lots of social justice topics, and collected hundreds of stories from inspiring individuals. All of these projects were equally valid and wonderful. Fire up that passion for the project. Don't let someone else determine your limits. Spend as little or as much money as you want. I hardly spend anything, and yet people love my episodes. Take as many hours as you want with it, editing as much or as little as you believe you need. And as Susan recently commented, if we can inspire even one senior to try their hand at podcasting, well, then we've succeeded. Good luck with it. CJNU 93.7 FM is Winnipeg's community radio station, owned and operated by our listeners, the members of Nostalgia Broadcasting Cooperative. We exist to serve our community, and our organization is open to all. CJNU broadcasts from Treaty 1 territory, the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Ojikree, Dakota, and Dene peoples, and the homeland of the Métis Nation. We respect the treaties that were signed here and acknowledge the mistakes of the past. Cooperation is at the heart of everything we do at CJNU, and in the true spirit of both truth and reconciliation, we know it is our responsibility to listen to one another, learn from the past, and work together for a better future. We would like to start our show by acknowledging that we are on the unceded territory of the Sinemo people, with the broadcasting range that overlaps the Kowat Sun and Slyamon territories. This acknowledgement is done with the gratitude to the Sinemo people and with the intention to increase awareness about truth and reconciliation processes and efforts on Vancouver Island. I respectfully acknowledge that CICK 93.9 FM broadcasts on unceded Wet'suwet'en territory, specifically the Cassiac House of the Gidimden Clan.